Hey everybody, this is Arun. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video on BI Publisher. Well, just for everybody's knowledge, Oracle is changing BI Publisher to Oracle Analytics Publisher. So uh, just keep that in mind. So today I have a very quick video. I'm gonna show you something really cool. Uh, you may already know this, but uh, there may be some who don't know this. So here you go. So I'm in the, in the data model you can see I'm in the data tab. Um, let me change the parameter value to, um, let's say one, and click on view. You'd see that, you know, you have invoice number, invoice date, and invoice amount, three different fields, right? And obviously invoices. I'm gonna change this value to two. And you'd see that now, uh, you'll see that you have an additional field called amount paid. Let me change this to something else. Here you go, you have something totally different. You have transaction number and transaction date. And if you uh, know Fusion Financials, you know that the first value of first two data sets um, or fields were coming from AP invoices all. And this is coming from transaction, uh, RA customer transaction all table, which is the AR transactions table. All right, so how is this happening? Um, just by me um, you know, inputting the values for the parameter, I'm getting different results. So today I'm gonna to show you that. All right, I'm gonna go back to diagram and then you'll see that in my data set, uh, when I went to the data, you could see that I was seeing the data fields, right? For here, in the data set itself, you won't be able to see any uh, fields, nothing here in the data set, right? So let me go ahead and um, edit data set. So the trick here is, zooming in a little bit, um, I have conditional uh, queries here. So I have conditions put in there and different queries for each condition. If P mode equal to one, then select invoice number, date, and invoice amount from AP invoices all table. If P mode equal to two, select invoice number, date, amount, and amount paid from AP invoices all. And if it's a different value, then select transaction number and transaction date from our customer transaction all table, right? This feature exists. This is available in Oracle's documentation. It's nothing new. Um, so the trick here is to select type of SQL as known standard SQL. The moment you select known standard SQL, you'll be able to put conditions like this within the data set, which will allow you to uh, use the parameter value to um, select different or execute different queries for that matter. So in this case, if, if the user select one, uh, the first query will run. If the user selects two, then the second query will run. If it's something else, then the third query will run. This gives much more flexibility for us report developers to use the parameter to um, you know, run different queries, uh, making it more dynamic, all right? One thing you'll note that here is that I have uh, provided row tag name as invoices. Let me um, show you if I go to data and let's say I run um, one, provide value as one, click on view. And you'll see that uh, each of the row code is identified as invoices, right? So that's what that row tag name helps you to identify the record. You're naming the record, okay? If I remove this, you can keep it uh, now. Click on OK, go to data, click on view. You'd see that now it comes as row, right? Earlier we had invoices, okay? So that's one thing that you need to keep in mind to provide a meaningful name for each of the row code. You could provide the row tag name for you know whatever you want. In this case, I would probably call this invoice. Now, a few other things that you need to know is you can you know click on sa save a sample data. Um, you know, it'll save it as an XML file. And you can see that this is my earlier file, but if I go to properties um, and then go down, click on sample XML, open that up, you can see that it shows me uh, this data, right? All right, so that's, uh, that's one thing. Uh, you would also see that the table view, uh, if I click on view, uh, you can see the tree view, right? But the table view is uh, not available. So if I click on table view, you're just gonna see that, that type of, um, output is not available. Okay, go to structure. I cannot change anything here, just the uh, row tag name here. Um, nothing cannot can be edited here. 
Um, other thing is that you won't be see won't be able to see any of the data fields that you select in your query because it's different queries that you're executing. Think about this. You could probably build different queries to uh, sort, right? So I've run into instances with my customers where they would say that I want to select how I want to sort the data. So you could have a parameter for sorting option and then use that parameter to execute different queries and different sort options. Um, and obviously you can use decode, that's another way to do this, but uh, this allows you to control the execution of the query using the parameters. So this is a pretty cool uh, feature that is available in Oracle Analytics Publisher. Um, I hope uh, you find this useful and you get to use this in your uh, reports um, and also when you, when you talk to your customers, when they come back with you know, some of these kind of requests, then now you know that you can do that conditionally, execute certain queries, um, and uh, hopefully this is helpful. All right, so that's it for today. Um, and if you have questions on this, feel, um, please feel free to put them in the uh, comment section. I'll be happy to reply to them when I have time. And uh, I do have a training on BI Publisher or Oracle Analytics Publisher, uh, both for individuals as well as corporate training. So if you're interested in that, uh, please reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you with that. All right, that's all for today. I hope you have a great week ahead and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, bye.